Okay, another game to check out here called Verballs. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six unlandish planets are overrun with Verballs. Viral element. Viral elemental creatures that consume is other to create exotic hybrids. Clean up this ecological disaster using verbal, verbal hybrids as devastating weapons. So, right. Uh, early access. Okay, plan to release in early access on October 22nd, 2024. Alright, I'm not a most most of the time I'm not a fan of early access. Sometimes it can work, but alright. So I'm gonna try this with my GameSir T4K. It's running as an Xbox at the moment, but mouse and keyboard or a gyro enabled might be a good option for this game. So enemy help boss damage numbers. Okay, controls invert, invert look. There's not a lot of things that you can do here, but it seems to be switch core, switch core, left grappler, fire swap, move, weapon, dash, jump, look, and verbals. Okay. Hmm. Using most of the controllers here, uh, or the buttons on the controller, sound start maxed out, but it is pretty low to be quite honest, so not a problem. Graphic, um, you have windowed full screen. All right, come on. Yeah, you have window mode, you have ballless, and you have exclusive <laughs> full screen. So when you swap here, it apparently automatically applies that. Uh, hopefully OBS has not crashed from it. We'll see. Resolution, support, right? Uh, support. Uh, ultra wide it looks like 32 by 9 4k 16 by 10 right something like that uh, don't see 34 40 times 1440p 21 by 9 I don't see but it could just be my monitor not showing that uh, let's go right uh, let's turn this one down the settings to high it's the very demanding here. Yes, this menu here is cranking my RTS 3070, like maxing it out. And every single thread on my Ryzen 5600X is doing something. So this is just hammering my CPU, hitting it hard and just hammering down my GPU here in the menu. That's uh, not something I think is uh, the most greatest fun thing. Let's play. So, 440p, high settings. Okay. Right, audio pauses or mutes when you tab out. Bright color style here. Okay, someone being hunted and crashing. Alright, are that the space cop? <clears throat> Verbals, okay. Apparently you can select different different planets. I don't know which one you should start with or anything. Uh, let's just start with this one. Oh, level coming soon. Okay. Level coming soon. Okay, which one's the default? Gambito? Level coming soon. Uh, Murloc? Level coming soon. Okay. Is it this one? Level coming soon. Wait.
Okay. I don't know, but it, it's loading some... Okay, can I? So, pressing B here takes you back to the menu. Right, so let's press. Level coming soon. <laughs> what? How do I start the game? I have played this uh, demo before. Oh, this one. Didn't I try this before? Okay. So... Okay, so, yeah. we have this, okay, yeah, oh my god, I, I could have sworn I tried every single one. Okay, so there's different spots, but this one seems to be only one available, yeah. Coming soon, coming soon. So you have three little stages on this world that you can try here on the demo, okay. Alright, Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Space Janitor. Terminate the verbals. Right, so first the gate of Aestat. It looks like it had, a, for me, a little bit like the Astrobot from the, the Steam page. But it doesn't have the same kind of oomph when I'm in-game, to be quite honest. And the drawing distance is quite terrible. You can see that. That is really, really distracting. Now, the problem, obviously, is that this game is just... You have no DLS, you have no FSR, XCS, no frame generation. You have no way to tweak uh, anything. You only have presets. And even on Ultra, the draw distance is terrible. And this is a heavy game. And for how it looks, I don't know if I could justify that. Like, my RTX 3070 is just barely hitting 120 frames here in 440p with these graphic settings. And the draw distance is a really something that very quickly gets you noticed. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to drop this at least to high to be able to keep. To be, to be able to keep stable frame rate. Okay, you have a double yum. Grab, grab some kind of hook. All right. Double jump to reach higher platforms. No shit. That was one of the most generic voices sounding ever. But yeah, so I don't know what it is. Something about the graphic here. I just when I looked at the pure the Steam page, like it looked like it had a you bit more no oomph. Problem jumping this ravine. Uh, but uh, yeah for the performance and everything I get I, do, I don't think that this graphically is like it's hard to justify this heavy performance hit it's not it's, it's not really bad but it looks empty sometimes something with the graphic here I'm detecting a strange energy signal nearby and that draw distance is really distracting on the high settings. Right, even on ultra it was very distracting. It's using a ton of pop-ins here. Like that that is That's weird. Like that little thing popping in on high setting. No. That's yes no whoa. <laughs> I don't know what it is and again like every single thread on my CPU is doing something that's not really bad right but it's one of the few games that I've seen do that so heavy I have two like two three threads 
just smashing like 50% in every single thread. At least 20-25% utilization. That is interesting. For a game that looks like this. Controls though, so far here, the just the pure jumping. It's a bit slow, but it works. It spit out a little verbal. I bet that voice is a... Really like... Uh, is that an AI voice? Because it's... That is a generic looking one. Or sounding one. Like very stiff sounding. <laughs> There's no, like, movement on the terrain or the grass and the else. It, 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 uh, it's like when you start playing, it's like, it feels a bit lifeless. Uh, some, something of the world here. No audio to really talk about. Pew, 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 pew. Interesting kind of concept, though, with... There is an auto aim for sure. And you have a map. Where am I? Am I the. Oh, I'm the blue one there in the top, I'm guessing. But yeah, this is a game that I would need to like have my gyro. So let me try something. Now I'm using the mouse. And let me walk. Turn off auto aim and like. Yeah, this is what I would need to do, like play with like the gyro enable. Uh, mixed input do work in a game like this, that is nice. I don't feel any weird, crazy stutter problem here. So you can add mouse and keyboard and gamepad bindings together, it looks like, which is great. So I would definitely need gyro aiming here to feel good here. Just using the right stick here is... Uh... Grab them with your claws. They eat each other to form hybrids? This can't be good. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure about how this works yet. <laughs> you can apparently eat stuff and upgrade stuff to make them more powerful. It seems like, like an interesting idea. Uh, are you supposed to be able to get up this high? Looks like there could be some out of bounds problem happening from that. The job's not done until every capsule is destroyed. This very powerful old game is, so you know, that's why I can. That is why I I haven't swapped mouse and keyboard is because it uh, is a very powerful auto aim that makes it that I can use the controller but I would not want to do this but for a demo showcase uh, the right stick here is smoother than using the mouse so it can can be a little bit more pleasing to watch so we're gonna keep going like this but I'm not entirely sure I understand this. I've, I've grabbed something right in the beginning that made me be able to shoot kind of rock. And then I can apparently upgrade it.
Okay, I have 79 out of 80. In infinite of this one. Okay. That's okay. Alright. So you can find different main... Main stuff. And then you can kind of upgrade those. Right, so that gives me... Right, so that's like ammunition. Gameplay-wise, it feels a little bit slow, but it could be something. But the biggest problem here for me is the world and everything feels kind of empty. Yeah, it's very demanding, except for VRAM. VRAM is pretty low, right? 4 point something, 4.2 gigabyte here. Um, gameplay could be fun. It's a, it feels a little bit, little bit slow for me, but it's definitely like a world that feels very flat and emptiness and like with the... Um, with a super low draw disc and with a crazy pop in it. Hmm. It distracts a lot. I, I, I would like more life lifeness to it. And that looks quite low res. <laughs> Kinda weird looking here. Wonder what engine this game is using. Yeah, they do. They are going to need to add more graphic options for you to tweak. Uh, that's just. Okay, so here different ammunition or. Oh! Okay, so the smaller one you can just... That's just ammunition, pretty much. Right, and I can swap between those. Right. Can I swap? No. Oh. Alright. Yeah, it looks like a pretty interesting uh, situation, for sure. Okay, so it swaps automatically every time I eat some like that. I don't know if that's the best way to do it. Oh god, that it's... I'm not the super like... I don't think I'm super like... Uh, sensitive to draw distance, but this really is crazy. Completely flat. Some shimmering looking effect here. Looking... Is this an Unreal Engine 5? Is that some lumen flicker or something? Maybe. Could be. That it, if this is an Unreal Engine 5, I can get the performance hit. Um... It may have been better to have done this in Unreal Engine 4 than for the graphic style here. Maybe it could have been a little bit more lightweight. But there is no stutter. That is really nice. Stutter is uh, one of the worst things. It feels very smooth. And uh, compared to the previous game that I played with, that was a Corgi's Tale that had a camera like this. I'm using the same gamepad, you know, the, the game sir T4 Kaylin. And it's running in joystick mode. And when I did panning... Uh, the previous demo of Corgi's Tale, it felt like it frame pacing was off. It wasn't smooth. 
even though I was getting 120 frames. But here it feels super smooth. I'm getting 120 frames. I don't get any noise or anything. It just feels very smooth. That voice, though, is uh, <laughs> so weird. It just—it feels like an AI voice. <laughs> yeah, so there's no auto aim on. Um, How much HP do I have? Oh, 100 HP. Uh, let me do that so maybe we can see that a bit easier. I really don't like aiming like this though, so you can probably tell that I'm doing a terrible job here by trying to aim. So what am I now supposed to destroy? I feel that they could have added some kind to, to lock on here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to hit on that one. Oh, here we go. Alright, alright. All captures destroy, verbals destroy, fifth atoms collected. <laughs> the main menu, okay. Right. Hmm. Like, I, I, I think it's an interesting idea here that you get the different, like, anim ammunitions and stuff depending on what, you, you know, enemy you can, like, grapple and get like that. And uh, it seems like you're gonna get maybe... You're gonna get a dash. Switch course. Toggle auto lock. Oh, okay. Did I turn that one off? Maybe I did. Let's toggle auto lock. Oh, there we go. Or maybe that could have worked on the boss also. Right. So you d you lose your. Yeah, you lose the upgrades. Right, you lose the upgrades there. When you start a new level, you lose your previous little upgrades. Right. Yeah, I don't have any dashing ability as. Right. So I, I guess I pressed the the disable lock button. Otherwise, the boss could have had auto targeting. But it feels a little bit slow to me. It's it's good movement though, right? It feels precise, but it feels a little bit slow. And again, it just feels like such an empty world. Hmm.
Oh, I could eat that one. You've created a third burball. Open your inventory and look through your arsenal. How the hell do you open your inventory? Oh, hold. Why? Oh. Don't be blah blah blah. Right, so... Okay, so that's how you select the different... I can't select the fire one. Nope. Start stone. Hmm. Is there fall damage? No. I don't know, something about the gameplay here it doesn't really feel that it's uh, grabbing me, really. I, I think the, like it has some interesting idea, for sure, with this kind of weapon stuff. And interesting how it's going to progress, but it feels a little bit, bit slow here. And Then again, definitely one of the bigger thing is for sure. Like the graph graphic style here, it's yeah, the world feels kinda dead. <laughs> uh, and like for how quite heavy it is on your computer it's uh, hard to justify it like nothing's moving everything's flat low draw distance it seems a very basic kind of texture stuff to work here <laughs> but it's gonna go into early access so it might you know be very expanded a lot obviously to our rocket, safe from furballs we will be. King Flubber will reward. Much thanks, Spherical One. Yeah, voice acting, I wouldn't call that top notch, especially not the first voice that uh, felt like the most basic sounding AI uh, dull voice ever, like the tutorial voice. It definitely is quite interesting that every time you grab one, it's automatically swap. Hopefully there's going to be a setting to like turn that one off. But again, I gotta at least, you know, you gotta give this game that it is super smooth when I'm panning around. It's really great, like this, the performance when I'm on high here setting. And I'm getting stable 120 frames, it is super smooth feeling. Uh, nothing, more, you know, you 
to say like there's no stuttering there's no loading problem here no frame time problems it just is so smooth feeling all right i'm guessing Okay, so he will just uh, <laughs> jump straight out of the void without taking any damage. Oh, he could break those. Okay. Hello? Uh. Some music in the background. Interesting. It's no difficulty settings or anything. It's uh, quite an easy game so far. Okay, I could grab it through the walls there. Why was you stuck in the wall? Huh. Alright. It works well with the dual stick since it has a very powerful lock on. They keep falling off and then just jumping straight back. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to get into that rocket ship, though. Okay, so yeah. Right. Invisible wall there. Ah, crap, I was too slow. Hello guys. Isn't this the ship you wanted to go to? It doesn't say my missions here. I feel like this should be where they wanted to go. Or do I have to find more of their friends? I feel like I've explored a map. So... What, what now, dudes? Do you not wanna... I, uh, okay, I don't... Don't understand. I feel like you guys should be, uh, like, going in. <laughs> All 
Or am I missing... Oh, am I missing a pink one? That I have to find first. Yeah! Yeah, okay, that could have been it. Oh my god, okay. Would be nice if the map could tell you, like, the mission thing, alright. Yeah, this is not gonna be a follow. Maybe after going out of early access, who knows if it can get polished. It's, it's, it has something, but it's not... Definitely not grabbing me here. It has a lot of things that could be done, but like, hey... There's been no, right for me here, there's been no game-breaking problems here. Yeah, I, I don't I don't feel I need to play more here. It was interesting to try, but I was think, hoping I guess it would be more like more faster actiony feeling, and that the world would feel more have some more oomph to it, right? Um, but it works and everything, but it's not really it really it's not really speaking to me somehow. Um, you obviously we need a remapping function when it comes to into the early access. You have only music and sound files. Uh, this works. That's fine. But we definitely need a lot more tweakability here. Yeah, it's great that you have the base thing here. Resolution and window and full screen and exclusive and stuff like that and some some tweak for the graphics. Oh my god, this is gonna look so bad on low. Ultra. Medium. Holy crap, the entire character seems to change. Look from medium to high. Oh, the shadows are disappearing on medium settings. Holy crap. Yeah, lots of more stuff needs to be added, but... For the demo, it had stuff that works, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, thanks for watching. You might be able to try this. Maybe keep an eye if you know if it feels interesting to you. Early access coming by the end of October here this month in 2024 is what it's looking like. And if you have the computer to run it, it's smooth, really smooth. Camera movement, inputs, super smooth as long as you can get a stable performance from it at least. I did have some problems with this uh, when I first tried it. It just didn't want to go above 80 frames, but now I it went to 120, so I don't know exactly what it was. Some minor things. Um, but yeah, the, the world feels empty. It feels a bit slow, very simple with the gameplay and everything, but again, it's it's I guess this is beta and then it's going to go in early access. And uh, a lot of things can happen, and this might be something that you really like. A more simple, just cleaner platforming game like this, with with shooting and getting different power-ups. So it might be for you that you like this. But I'm definitely not going to keep an eye on this uh, with how it felt. But if it gets on my radar again, you never know. Might be worth a different time. Try then. Maybe another Steam Next Fest uh, demo update will, uh, you know, be interesting. Give me more oomph. You never know. You never know. So it was interesting. It was fun to try. I like trying demos. I appreciate demos. And I appreciate the getting out a good, solid working demo. And if it only had the remapping, it would have had all of my basic kind of demo things that I feel that every demo should have. So it's it's definitely a solid demo, even if it might not be something you feel is, oh, this is a great game. It's still a solid demo. So it was nice trying that. So if you want to see me try more games and demos and 
video games related stuff you can follow or check back to the channel you can leave a like or a comment if you want to do that but if nothing else thank you for watching and uh, have a great day and bye for this time